Beachy waves are one of my favorite go-to looks. I love to wear this look summer, winter, spring, or fall. I'm gonna show you how to get the perfect beachy waves in three easy steps. I recently cut my hair and I thought, oh God, am I gonna be able to do the same thing? Is it gonna look as great? I promise you, I have to say it almost looks better. Okay, step one to the perfect beachy wave. Um, it's all about the prep. Right now I have slightly blown out um, straight hair. A few things that you have to use, blow dry with a round brush or some type of brush. You need to spray wave spray, something with a little salt. It doesn't matter what it is. I love this one, it's called Love and Salt. Hence, Amongst the Waves is who it's by. And it's a really great uh, wave spray. It really um, builds up the hair and it gives it a lot of texture. What you're trying to do is honestly make it dirty. So wash your hair, spray like, I would say like three or four sprays at the root with wave spray. Also, Janatkin, who you guys know from the Kardashians, she's an amazing hairdresser. She has a, a great line called Way Hair Care, and her wave spray is amazing. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but the first step after you dry your hair is dry shampoo. Um, I love this one, it's a new one. I've used everything. I, I use one, a, a different one a week, but I'm loving Octavio um, and it's a, a dry shampoo. Um, it's really good, you spray it and I spray it all over. I really get into the root and it just, see how I'm just kind of like building it up? You wanna make it dirty. You can also build it up just a little bit more with um, hairspray. You let that kind of dry and set. And then, I like this brush. It's an old school Mason Pearson. Again, you can use any type of brush. Then I actually brush it out. Work the product through it with the brush. So I like to part my set hair down the middle. A lot of times I'll part it on the side, but for like the ultimate beach wave, I part it down the middle. A little bit of a pet peeve of mine um, is they're called angel wings. And I hate when someone blow dries my hair and it's like McDonald's arc, okay? It's like this. You don't want that. Um, I don't like a wave. What makes it more modern when you're doing the wave at the front is to really get this down. If you have an issue where it's just not saying, you can take a piece of tissue paper and you can literally just what well, after you do the curl and pin it down like this. I know it sounds crazy and it looks really weird, but you do not want McDonald's arches. You do not want angel wings. Okay, um, step two is you're going to curl. Okay, the probably the most important product that you need to own is your curling wand. You can call it a curling wand, you can call it a curling stick, you can call it a curling iron. I love this curling wand. Uh, what I love about it the most, it's a one inch barrel. For me, it's not too small of a, of a curl, it's not too loose of a curl, or it's not too tight of a curl. But the one inch, even long or short, um, really gives a nice, beautiful curl. Every manufacturer makes one. Um, I love this one. It's a one inch barrel, and this one's from Enzo Milano. This is ceramic, so it does burn quite quickly, and it's fast, which I love, but always at home, be careful when you're using any type of curling iron or wand because it is hot. So you may want to use the glove or some type of glove that you have at home or one actually comes with this. Okay, so I take the wand in my right hand. I'm gonna start with the front and see what I'm doing. I'm not taking a very big piece of hair. I'm taking it where it's quite manageable. The key is to kind of flatten it with your fingers, okay? And remember, you've already got it prepped. You've already got it kind of a little gritty. The worst kind of hair to curl is clean hair. So always remember, make it a little dirty. You can always add dry shampoo throughout this process. The key is to always, at the front, go back. So you always wanna make sure the wand is in the back, okay? Then you gently wrap the hair around the wand, always going back, and you leave just a tad bit of the end out, and then you're gonna let it loose. And it's gonna be a curl something similar to this, okay? 
Don't do anything, just leave it, okay? Then you're gonna take another piece. Again, not too big. Don't get it where it's like this much you're trying to do like, because it won't curl the same. So always kind of piece out your hair. And you'll find that if you really brush it out during the prep process, this process goes quite quick. Again, always going back of the wand to make the curl go around. And you literally, you just wrap it. Put a little tension. I would hold for a good, you know, five to seven seconds, depending, you know, kind of how fine your hair is and how quickly it curls. And literally, you just drop it. Now, a lot of people go with the curl one way and then curl the other way. You can do that. For this kind of beach wave, I like a little bit more polish. I like kind of the waves going in the same way. And you'll see when I, um, I brush it out, and again, put a little bit of tension. The wand is always in the back. See, I can do this with no mirror. Aren't you guys impressed? I'm gonna hold the back a little bit longer because it's not as processed. And again, so you've got three nice, really pretty curls. I'm gonna start on this side. And one side, just remember, one side is always easier than the other. I'm right-handed, so that other side is a little easier. Always going back, so think back. And then I take it and I wrap it around. And then I hold. And it's pretty easy, like once you get the hang of doing it, you kind of like, you'll be like, okay, I got this. You know, when you really start doing something over and over, you can play, you can pick up bigger pieces, you can pick up smaller pieces, and that does give a little bit more dimension. But I think the easiest way to start with it is really kind of to piece it out the same. Because sometimes you, I, I find that sometimes if I piece out different, I'm like, okay, one side looks kind of completely different than the other side. So it kind of gets tricky. So I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my hair and then I'll show you guys the finished look. So step number three, um, after you've pieced and curled out all the hair, notice that I've left it all in pieces. I've done that on purpose. Again, I use just a little bit more dry shampoo and a little bit more hairspray. I'm gonna start with the dry shampoo and I just spray the ends of it while they're still pieced. Again, I do hairspray, I prefer a lighter hairspray. Um, I love Elnet, I love The Way. Um, Orbe makes a good one. Something that's really not too sticky and tacky. So something just is a light spray. So then you can do one of two things. You can use a brush. If you use a brush, spray it. You can brush through your hair. You can use your fingers or you can use a comb. Um, depending on the day, depending on how tight I want the curl. Uh, right now I'm just gonna show you how I do it just with my fingers. And then I'm gonna go over it with a brush. And then you can see kind of where you need to add a little bit more curl. Like if you want it a little bit curlier on one side or you feel like you need a little bit more down at the bottom, I kind of like a straighter, looser curl. Um, I have a lot of flyaways because I color my hair. So I love this product. It's from Kerastase. It's called Touche Perfection. It's so good. It does not um, grease your hair. It does not um, make it oily. But it, it is really, really good when you want to like get down all your flyaways and you just kind of tack the end of it and see right through here. I also like another one from um, Lenore Grail and this smells so good. It's so good for the hair. And again, I literally use just like a little bit. I rub it together and I just, my angel wings, I kind of make sure they're down just gonna press this out, spray my thing. The main thing when I love a beach wave is I love the front kind of straight. Beachy waves in just three easy steps. That's how easy it is. A few products, definitely the magical wand, one inch, and you can have your magical beach waves. I love hearing from you guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, I love your tips, your tricks. Let us know if there's something um, specific you want me to talk about or let us know in the comments below and enjoy your beachy wave.